Alright folks, now that I got the blood flowing again, welcome to day three of six days of sacrifice. Last video, holy shit, we went through a lot of fucking narrative. Oh my god. To be fair, that is my fault, because I've been reading through all these options attempting to learn more about the story for both our sakes. I say both, and I actually mean all of you, uh, all of you viewers as well as myself, but man. The first time in this whole fucking quadrilogy trilogy that I actually was a bit bored there, experiencing the agony of the mind, folks. I, I, I suspect then, for it to really go fully, I need to experience fear and insanity as well. I certainly have the physical pain down pat. And to complete the trifecta, I'll probably end up experiencing uh, soul agony as well. Anyway, uh, the store was locked last night. Maybe something exciting was happening behind it. <sighs> yeah, that did happen. Seems like Trilby's talking like he's the fucking protagonist. What with demanding for his questions to be answered and whatever, I... Also, while uh, getting my blood flowing again between the breaks, I, um... I took a few minutes to think about what's been happening. I'm not gonna spoil anything. I won't share my ideas, but I think I know what the cause of all this is, as well as what Samantha was doing down here. I think. Another reason why I'm not saying it is I don't want to be right. I... Who are you? My name is Trilby. That much I know. Even that sole fact isn't sufficient, though. I get the feeling I have, or had, other names in the past. Trilby the Cat Burglar? Cat Burglar. Yes, that was one of my names. You can't possibly be Trilby. Nevertheless, I'm certain Trilby is my name. But Trilby died hundreds of years ago. And I already told you. I remember that I was dead. So your statement only further reinforces my claim. This doesn't make any sense. And yet, here we are. How did you come back to life? I don't know yet. You do know that resurrection is completely impossible, right? I thought I knew it. Recent events are forcing me to reassess this, however. All I know is that I was dead, and now I am alive again. Refusing to believe this will not answer my questions. You don't remember working for the Order? Order? The Order of Blessed Agonies? Agonies. I remember something. I get a name. John Defoe. He's important in some way. In fact, I think I spent many years researching him. I've never heard that name before. Oh god, I didn't mean to do that. I fucking clicked by accident. Sorry, folks. Well, permanently screwed myself out of that too. Unless I have fucking expert ninjas there who... Like with the final, like with uh, the ninth video of Chilby's Notes, or like trying to catch that split second pause, maybe you'll be doing that too on that section. Sorry, I apologize. What do you remember? Not much. A few flashes now and then, images and sounds. No dates or details attached. I remember John Defoe, as I said. And from that name, a few other memories return. Standing on a hill, watching something burning in the distance. The end of five days of stranger. My hands covered in blood. And then a place that was two places at once. Trilby's notes. I'm lying on something hard. My stomach really hurts, and someone is talking to me. Lankman, the tree stump. But it's mostly a fog. Up until the morning I... Until, until, until I woke up here. So you woke up here? Well, not right here. I just felt myself gravitate to the spot. Like something important happened here. Yes, 
This is where you were killed. So you said, yes. I suppose that would explain it. Maybe you should look around where you woke up. What was your name again? DeCobb. Theodore DeCobb. You've been a great help, mister. Excuse me, won't you? Trilby. That is Trilby. It's not just some imposter or look-alike. It's Trilby. With amnesia. Hmm. This is unfortuitous. Let me see if a Janine knows anything? Hmm. Uh. Two. Seven. Four. One. What? Um. What? <laughs> okay, so. Um, it'll keep repeating this to me. I guess they're digits? Two, seven, four, one? I better fucking jot those down too. 2741. Okay. Digits get. Hmm. Now, there was actually something else that required numbers. So let me go check that out. Ooh, by the way, that door is open. Before I go in there, let me see if my hypothesis is correct before I forget. 2741. Yes! It's some kind of wide circular chamber, viewed from above. This must be the hub. Strange. From the look of it, there's nothing in it but the remains of some old ruined building. Can I, like, take a picture of that? Or review input? Uh, apparently not. Well, I didn't mean to make it go fucking crazy. 2741. Can I take a picture? Picture! Download current image. Okay. There, I have images of all the calendars. And didn't I say I was going to call Janine? I did, I did. What? Where are you, Janine? I'm in the sleeping quarters. And don't tell me to come out. I don't understand anything that's happening. I don't even remember how I got here. Are you all right? Yes. No. No, I'm not all right. Sam is dead. I know, but Sam is dead, and I think I'm going mad. Why do you say that? I remember Sam dying. I remember taking her to the medical bay. But then everything goes blank. I'm scared. Something happened to you last night. You were there? What did I do? You were acting odd, like you were someone else. And you were talking to me like I was someone else. Oh, God. I remember. I remember talking to you. But it wasn't me. It was like looking through the eye holes of a mask. And I knew that the thing I was... It makes me feel so sick. Do you notice any changes in the main corridor by chance? No, I don't. Honestly? Yes! You don't see it transforming? Becoming some kind of dungeon, brick walls, blood everywhere, dirt floor? What are you talking about? Isn't it always... Please come out of the sleeping quarters. No! I don't want to! Petulant child. Please, Janine. There's something out there. I'm not one to talk. Theo is. It's going to kill us both. You'll never escape from the complex. I don't care. I'd rather starve in here than die like Sam did. Why can't you leave me alone? Because I want to live. I need you to get the hub open again. That's your strategy? It's our only way out. The reason behind this whole mess 
It's in the hub. I can feel it. It's like I'm being drawn to it. Oh, that's a good sign. Sam was murdered when she went in there. I know. All the more reason to see what's important enough to kill for. You're insane, and you're on your own. Are you coming out? <laughs> no! Okay. Oh, but I have seen what's inside the hub. You have? Can you show me? I've got the image on my phone. I'm sending it to you now. Oh, hey, that was useful. I see it. There's nothing to be afraid of, see? It's just some old ruin. Whatever killed Dr. Hardy is gone now. Yes, I see. It's funny, but... When I see this, I don't feel so afraid. Like I'm seeing a place where... where... Um... Okie dokie? Right. Yes. <laughs> Alright, so I managed to solve a puzzle. That's good. Now let's go take a peek see in here, folks. I... I do not... I, I, I do not want my fear, fears confirmed here. It's spotless. It looks like it's been completely scrubbed clean. Is there anything in it, by chance? There's nothing on it, and no cabinets. It's part of the complex intranet. Can I use it? Can I use the intrawebs? Most of the hard drive is scrubbed. Only one file left. I'll add it to my journal. The Clen Bronwyn Hotel incident took the soul of the bridge keeper from us and delayed the coming of the keeper for hundreds of years. But at the same time, it brought the prince to us with the solution already in hand. The prophecy in the books of Chizo demands that the guide assists the creation of the bridge. Obviously, he could not do that if he was long since dead of old age. The sample of his blood provided by the prince was enough to ensure that the guide would exist for more than long enough to fulfill his destiny. That's right, folks. You remember that little bit there at the end of Trilby's notes? You remember that Samantha Hardy is a biochemist? You remember seeing countless Trilbys appear? Oh, not countless. Well, I've been, what, three? Since uh, we started playing this game? <laughs> I can see some vials of blood and plasma in there, and some lumps of tissue in petri dishes. That's right. There's someone in there, with skin as white as alabaster. I can't make out any features. I don't think they have any. This was the place where he woke up. I'm not going to say anything for specific now, but I think I know what the answer is. Well, I, I thought it before, now I'm, <laughs> I'm fucking sure of it. At this time, another came to the tree that was the prince's soul, and this other was of the faith, but blinded by pride, and so he was, the prideful acolyte, Linkman. And the prideful acolyte threw down the guide, and subjecting the guide to the blessed agony of the body. He called forth the prince, and the prince crossed over to the land of technology. And the prince was much displeased, for the prideful acolyte would in his arrogance interfere with the destiny of the guide, and so he threw down the prideful acolyte, and the prideful acolyte became the puppet, and knew the name of the king. And with great fear did the guide take up the soul of the bridge-keeper, immune to its influence, for the bridge-keeper was also greatly fearful, and he hid the soul of the bridge-keeper away to a place where it would meet its final destiny. And the prince and the puppet took their message to 
the order of blessed agonies. And we have a hat. Something awfully familiar about it. It wouldn't suit me. No, I can't interact with that camera. But I can take a look at... Well, I can rather talk to Trilby. What is this place? No idea. But this is where I woke up. I've never seen technology like this. Hmm. What year is it? It's 2189. Ooh. I can't remember what year it was the last time I checked. But I'm pretty sure I've lost a century or two somewhere along the way. Um, the events of... Um... Trilby's Notes took place during 1997. So, yeah. We don't know, I guess, however long he lived for after that. As this is not the real Trilby. This is not like a Trilby poltergeist. This is not like Chizo anchoring the soul of Trilby to the pl this place. It's not any of that. We are experiencing actual Trilby doppelgangers. Trilby clones. I'm going to withhold judgment for now. Anything coming back? Nothing from this room. But the more I think about the name John Defoe, it's like there's something scrabbling at the back of my mind. I feel I'm on the verge of rediscovering something terrible. So basically these are like Trilby Golas. They wake up and they don't know anything about their lives. And I presume that critical points of stress will awaken them? <laughs> like the prince coming... Why is the prince, by the way, killing the Trilby clones? That's what's been happening, right? The prince is executing the Trilby clones. Why is that happening? Isn't he the one who brought the blood to this place? And Samantha, I mean, think of what Canning said. They're just as much Sam's pets as they are the Order of Blessed Agonies. She took the blood of Trilby and made Trilby golas. They are golas. <laughs> Listen, this complex is dangerous. I think there's something haunting us. It's already killed someone. We need to find a way out of here. And go where? All the answers I seek are here. I just have to find them. You could be killed! Death didn't stop me last time, apparently. <laughs> if what you say is true, you're the one who should be worrying now. I got saves, bro. I don't suppose you'd be agreeable enough to help me open the door. No, of course not. Wishes to remain here until he remembers something. If I could get the prince, I'm sure you would remember something. <laughs> oh, boy. I, again, I'm going to do my best to reserve judgment, perhaps until the end of the game. Um, so, something like, uh, I don't know. We haven't talked to Canning in a bit. Let's go see if he's got anything new for us. Canning! You are still in there, right, bro? You haven't teleported out? Oh, good. Back again? Dr. Hardy is dead. Reef what ye sow. <laughs> Doesn't that bother you in the slightest? You and your whole insane order are accessories to murder. Once we got out, you're going to do a lot of time for this. Your words are like the warbles of a sparrow. The order of blessed agonies fears no mortal agency. We are under divine protection. What do you mean, protection? You, like, fucking go to the pharmacy and buy... I'm not going to continue that thought. We're on the, under the guiding hand of the god, King Chizo. When he enters this world, I don't even know why I'm talking to you. You're just a brainwashed lunatic. Your words are sounding hollow even to you, are they not? Tell me what Dr. Hardy was doing here. You mean you still haven't figured it out? I'd be disappointed if I felt even a shred of respect for you. <laughs> just tell me. 
we were allowing her to fulfill her chosen role. In this case, the field of biochemistry. Who can ask for anything more? <laughs> I'm prepared to negotiate your release. How utterly tiresome. Just answer my questions without deviating from the subject, without personal attacks or evasion or dogma, and promise to cooperate with us. Freedom is too small a reward for such betrayal. You are just a wretched man. You can barely stand on your own legs. I have the ear of the king. What is in the hub? Very little. Very little of anything corporeal, anyway. What does that mean? It means that most standard scientific tests would indicate that the hub is largely empty. And what is in there has absolutely no purpose. But we, the followers of the true way, know different. This isn't helping at all. I didn't intend it to. <laughs> That's what I imagine him doing in there this entire time. Ruffle, 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 ruffle. Can I do that in an old villainous voice? Ruffle, ruffle. I don't know. He hasn't said anything like, like, stereotypically villainous, so I couldn't do it. <laughs> No, no, not, I'm not thinking of a villainous voice here for him. Oh, well. What is the purpose of this facility? Now, you know I'm not going to answer that. No, and I know why. It's because you don't know, do you? That wasn't a question, that was a statement. You're just as much a patsy in this as we are. Now you're just wasting breath. So why have the Order abandoned you down here? My brethren have given me this responsibility as a gesture of recognition and respect. Something you, of course, would know nothing about. Oof. Why is the main corridor changing? In what way is it changing? You know, it's turning into some kind of dungeon, I suppose. How would he know? He's been trapped in here. <laughs> The Oracle has spoken! <laughs> Forget it. Your guard seems to be alive again. So, you think he rose from the grave? I don't know what to think. Thinking is something you need to do more of, boy. <laughs> he doesn't remember working for you. Of course not. He never does. Were I not trapped in here, I would have been able to give him his usual instructions. How many times have you had to do that? Your questions bore me. Come back if you ever figure anything out. Yikes. Shut up now. I saved the game recently? I don't think so. Let's save the game just in case. Back again? Who is John Defoe? Ah, now we're getting somewhere. John Defoe is the bridge keeper. It is through him that the king will enter our world. Where is he? He's all around us. Then again, he's also drifting off somewhere in deep space. Give me a straight answer, for God's sake! There is no straight answer to your question. Why do you ask it, anyway? Trilby told me the name. It's just about the only thing he remembers. Mere words will not fully restore a lost memory. A picture does a better job. What picture? I'll tell you what. If you can figure out by yourself what work Dr. Hardy was doing for us, I'll help you. Alright, folks. I figured out what Dr. Hardy was doing. Do tell. I think she was a cryogenicist. Truby was frozen sometime in the 21st century. And you were having her restore him to life. And how do you explain his death and resurrection? Duh, you're on entirely the wrong track. Alright, I've got your number. I think she was a genetic engineer. Oh yes, she found a way to bring Trilby's corpse back to life. To keep him at a permanent state of youth. And to make him indestructible so that he regenerates any damage he sustains. 
Well, what more can I say? Other than that, your hypothesis is utterly retarded. It breaks nearly all known laws of physics. <laughs> Kenning is criticizing the road breaking the laws of physics. <laughs> oh, that's great. Back again. I figured out what Dr. Hardy was doing. Do tell. I don't think she was here as a scientist at all. I think she was one of you cultists in disguise. Her job was to pretend to help us while secretly... Let me stop you there before you embarrass yourself. You're completely wrong. I think it's too late for the whole embarrassment factor, man. Yes. I think she was a cloner. You had her creating multiple copies of Trilby. And when I thought I saw him come back to life, it was just a different clone. Congratulations! Now the more complex question. Why? What would we need clones of this particular individual for? I... I don't know. You don't know anything about the Defoe Manor incident? The Clan Bronwyn Hotel incident? No. Huh. Forget it, then. All right, you wanted to know what could jog his memory. Here is my advice. A newborn often reacts positively to an image of its mother. That's all you can give me? That's all I intend to give you. I'm not your personal advisor, boy. Don't call me boy, motherfucker. Okay, so... Image of... Maybe there's like a... ID tag or something on Samantha that I didn't know about? I don't know. Is this the room? Move faster, Theo! <laughs> I think the ID cor card she wore on her lab coat bore her picture, if I can just retrieve it. Damn, it isn't here. Where did it go? Okay, if I need this to jot Trilby out of his melancholic mood or whatever, that means that it wouldn't be in the hub. So, it would probably be the places that Samantha has been. Let me try this uh, bedroom area, which I presume is unlocked now, courtesy of the fact that Janine is no longer in it. Pixel hunt, pixel hunt, pixel hunt, pixel hunt. Going on a trip in my favorite pixel hunt. No. Uh. Hmm, maybe Janine has it. What? Do you have Dr. Hardy's ID card? I just wanted to remember her in some way. Don't judge me. Too late for that. I'm not judging you. Can I borrow it? Uh, sure. Can't exactly give it to you over the airwaves. You want to meet up? Talk to you later. Alright, I presume she's standing out there in front of the hub place with the people and the thing, so let's go do that. Now, I must admit, I don't exactly understand how this is working here. Um... Like, if it's like a whole circular building complex thing, I'm like trying to imagine it in my head. I guess if, let's say, the camera angle is pointing north. When you go over here to this side, we're looking north at this. And then, we look over here, and the camera is still pointing north, but it's in some black hole space between... Um, the corridor and the hub. I don't know. I was never good at spatial relations. So, let us go retrieve the card. Please. Now, let us go uh, give it to Trilby to jog his memory, or so I hope. 
Chobi clones. <sighs> I did not see that coming for a while. She looks as serious as always. Do you remember Dr. Hardy? Hardy, Hardy. That does ring a faint bell. If I had more details... Dr. Samantha Hardy? The scientist? No. Do you have a picture of her? I have to go. Here's a picture. Take a look at this picture. Who is this? Samantha Hardy? Do you know her? Hardy. Maybe. There's something about her face. Could I meet her? She's dead. Hardy. Dead. I... Oh, Jesus, it wasn't me. I used my, it used my hands, but it wasn't me. What? I'm so sorry, Philip. Hardy, you didn't, you didn't deserve. Why are you doing this? Uh, I should stop reading that if I'm not going to do it actually, seriously, dramatically. I apologize. Some memories return with a suddenness that caught me off guard. Nothing that answers why I'm in this facility, however. Listen, I need your help. There's a door that needs two people to open it. I think that behind it we can both find the answers we seek. That seems a good place to start as any. Please lead the way. I'm back, Janine. Good, let's... Uh... <sighs> yep. Yeah. As I hypothesized, Janine's not terrified of the prince. She's terrified of the Trilby Gola. Oh boy. Madam, I don't even know who you are. Why are you so afraid of him? What do you think he'll do to you? Has she been, like, possessed by John Defoe or some shit? That's the only thing I can think of for why she... But if she was possessed, she'd have, like, a fucking welder mask and... I mean, is she... I don't know. I don't know. This is kind of creepy. I mean, considering how weird she was speaking in the last video... Fucking... I do... I, you got me, folks. <laughs> Maybe the fuse is blown. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> Here we go again. <laughs> of course, I walk the slowest among everyone. Yet I must go and fix the problem. A fuse. Well, I guess the only thing I can really think of is this thing. Let's go ahead and save the game. This the fuse box thing place with the dudes? Okay. I don't know much about electrics, but one of the fuses definitely looks burnt out to me. Hmm. <sighs> Basing my adventure game logic, and from what I've seen from Yancey thus far, that the puzzles will be solved with the items you find, you know, you know, so you should probably have the item by the time you get it, or should have reasonable access to it. I don't know how viable fixing a fuse with a staple is, but it appears that <laughs> we've done it. Great. And I better save again for good measure. Okie dokie. And Janine is gone. She went on ahead. I tried to stop her, but she just ignored me. Come on! Before she fucking pops out of there and all bleeding and shit and every-
no! I do not understand! <laughs> of John Defoe's mind. Okay, so this is the present. John Defoe's mind is what this revolves around to. John Defoe's mind still inhabits that ruin there? Right. Okay, that makes sense. That infection is what has been spreading through the entire complex. Why was Samantha Hardy employed to clone Trilby of all people multiple times? Clues you've had have had plenty of. Think the cob. Why Trilby? I think I know the answer here, but I'd like to see some, you know, some wrong answer thing again. To act as guards for the complex. Guards can be hired from any street corner. For far less money than a human cloning project would cost. Why was Trilby needed specifically? Because Trilby is important to the Order's prophecies. Prophecy does not shape the future. It merely offers a window into it. There is a more practical reason. He knows the most about John Defoe. That's untrue, I'm sure. The Order's current leader knows far more about Defoe's nature than Trilby ever did. Besides, if we're just about knowledge, why clone him so many times? I feel you are coming close to the truth, though. As I suggested earlier, and as was hinted earlier, uh, the bridge bridgekeeper being terrified of the guide, John Defoe is scared of Trilby. Back there in the manor, as soon as Trilby was removed, everything started going berserk. Indeed, for a wraith being crammed back inside your rotting bones is a traumatic and painful experience. To then be shot down in subtle light, unable to die, to feel the constant agony of body and mind reduced to ash. Until then, Defoe feared only his father. Afterwards, Trilby was, in his mind, the embodiment of pain, and his mere presence acts as a ward against Defoe. But the prince has been killing him! Utterly immune to Defoe's corrosive influence, although he never realized it, and only with the constant presence of Trilby throughout the complex could the evil Defoe's mind be restrained within the hub. The tall, thin man, the one with the coat, he's the head of the order, right? Correct. Why does he keep killing the Trilbys? That I do not know. But I do know that the more of them that die, the further Defoe bleeds into the surrounding complex. You may not have long. What will happen? Defoe is a creature of monstrous violence. Samantha Hardy's fate, I fear, was only the beginning. Oh, God, is Janine all right? Perhaps you should find out. Janine! Can I save the game? Can I... Oh, boy. I have no control. Is that really necessary, Prince? You do not need to do that! Fucking Kavadoff, taking his sweet ass time there, being a douche. I'm sorry, Theo. I know. I'm just so scared. I know. It keeps happening. I don't even remember going into the hub. You blacked out? I was waiting for you outside the door. Then I was nothing. And the next thing I knew, I was in that room in front of you. 
I'm scared out of my mind because there's something. Something's trying to take me over. Look at me, okay? Nothing's going to take you over. I'm... <laughs> Sounds strangely romantic. What the fuck was that? That is the second time this video I have been rendered 